The black woman is the co-creator to Allah. So your role is real important. So to sit back and watch BET and watch you take off your clothes, it's like, damn, it's all over with. To see you run wild, you understand what I'm saying? Because if you're the co-creator, we have no choice if the, we let the black woman just do whatever the hell she want to do. All right? And I'm, I'm putting a challenge out there to the positive sisters. Y'all might need to step up and check those, those sisters that y'all see on the video. There was 10 years of hip-hop history that young people making hip-hop today have no clue about whatsoever. They can't give you a timeline or tell you what MC wrote what song and did what. They can't tell you collaborations. They can't tell you anything about hip-hop. They th their earliest recollection of hip-hop is 1995. Are you following me? This book, The Oral History of Hip-Hop's First Decade. Yes, yes, y'all. We need to get this so we can be equipped to pass on this 10-year history down to this generation that know what the hell they doing. Because during the process of breaking us down and making us slaves, that tradition of grandfather sitting the grandson on the lap and telling him the stories, the oral truth, so inside of the story is hidden messages and pregnant meaning and things that only can be passed on from father to son and then the whole idea of sitting the, the grandson on the lap to feel the muscle vibration to pass on that spirit that's lost that's lost that oral tradition is lost words have a vibration how come you think when you call the sister out on name brother you get slapped upside your head yeah. or hit with a frying pan or something it's that vibration that does something to her soul so words have a pattern, and that pattern is written in the DNA, man. There's no way in the world you go, I'm telling you, there was an experiment, and somebody correct me if I get it wrong. There was an experiment by the, some Japanese people uh, on water. How many people have seen the experiment? And you've seen what the bleep do we really know? It's in that movie, so if you can get the movie. Uh, one of the other lectures I do is hidden in plain sight where we decode the movies. Well, the experiment was this. A group of people got together and they spoke ill, nasty, derogatory words to one glass of water. And they praised the other one. And guess what happened to the, the glass of water that they were talking down to? It turned black. Whoa. Words can kill, man. That tongue is like a two-edged sword. You can build somebody up or break them down. This, the white boy, your natural enemy knows. That's how, he can, that's how come he wants to control the hip hop. Yeah. Because he knows once we get the word in the youth's head mm. and give him a proper example, they know what the youth are going to do. See, that generation coming up under us is the ones that are supposed to take him out of here. Right. And they know that. Right. So they got to kill off the public enemies, the KRS ones, all those that can't speak in truth to power. The dead prez. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Saigon and the rest of them. Come on. The mortal technique. Let's move on. All right, if you don't know this, you should know this. But let me just run through this real quick. All right? Everyone in this room will be judged regardless whether you know it or not. And whether you want to be judged or not. Real quick. This is where white Western world get their judicial system from. Here's the judge. Here's the jury, here's the scale of justice that we never get, <laughs> never get justice, all right? So, we're not going to go through the, the um, ancient comedic names, let me just run through this real quick. I'm trying to be scholarly, but sometimes you've got to talk to our people, all right? So, he's passed on to the spirit realm, all right? His heart is being measured in a cup against the feather of ma'at, truth, balance, justice, and reciprocity. Right. Tahuti, here, Thoth, where white world, western world get the term thought from. And they get the concept of the pen, if you look at his nose. Mm. All right? They stole this concept, and they stole a lot of things. I can't go into everything. Come on, brother. But they took stuff like this out of ancient Kemet and just stole the concept. That's all. Mm -hmm. So we're walking him to the hall of justice. Yes, sir. Before he's kneeling down and coming before the judge to judge his life. Where is his life written? Your life is written on your soul. So your heart is taken out and put into a cup to, measure, to get measured against the feather of my eye. You'll know if you didn't pass because a devourer here, which uh, white people call the devil or Satan, will devour your soul. 
Mm. Are you following me? Yes, so because he's here, that means he's passed. So when his deeds that was written down, his whole life was read to him. That's why we say in the 42 laws of Ma'at, thou shalt not, that have, have not, that ha thou have not committed this. Thou have not done that. I have, I have not, pardon me. Because those things are written on your soul and it's read back to you when you pass on into the spirit realm. So because he passed, that's why we use the term today, we're going to give him a ghetto pass. <laughs> we'll validate or re -stamp his ghetto pass. All right, so he passed on to the, to the spirit realm. Now he has to kneel before the Lord. Mm. Are you following me? Come on. Yeah. Now that's it, in, not, not in a nutshell, but real quick. So Riri and Man Man and Tay Tay can get in, and Peanut can get in the projects. In case you show them this DVD. <clears throat> See, we have to speak their language. Now, if I came talking, using all the metaphysical terms and this, that, and this, they may not get it. Now, you take it, put it in that fine language that you know, and explain it to them. Can you do that? Right. Oh, let's move forward. Mm. Wait, oh, I forgot one very important point. Wow. Before you even enter into the hall of Ma'at, they announce you by your name. I'm going to say that again in English because y'all didn't respond like I thought y'all was going to respond. They're going to announce you by your name. What is your name? Hmm. Hmm. No. It's Johnson, Jones, Culpepper, O'Reilly, <laughs> O'Toole, and O'Fool, right or wrong. No, you need your damn name. Remember I said earlier when your mom called you when the street light came on? And they called you by your name. That's the thing that gets you in line. That's the thing that lines your chakras back up and your aura. What is your name though? See, but your crack, the cracker named you and you called by his name. So when he called, that's who you respond to. So when you take on his name, you respond to him. You don't respond to the ancestors. You don't respond to the call. That's why when the Adon is being sounded, right, you don't respond to that because you don't know what that's about. Right. So I said a good name is better than go. That's what Elijah Muhammad taught us. Yes, sir. And it is because why are you calling yourself C murder? And they got you in jail for murder. <laughs> Come on now. Am I right or wrong? Yes, sir. That's that vibration. We love the brothers. You understand what I'm saying? But we have to state the facts. And get our younger ones to understand so they don't end up on the cover of the source. <laughs> Hip hop behind bars. What you doing with a name like Benny Siegel? I love beans. Me and him are cool. But just that vibration. Who was Benny Siegel? A, a Jewish gangster. Like Maya Lansky, right. But you tapped in on that frequency. Are you following me? Project Pat. You ain't never coming out of the projects, dude. Because you're still stuck in that frequency. Pimp C and everybody else. Are rappers the new target of America's criminal justice system? We got to add another criminal. Are rappers the new target of America's criminal criminal justice system? Right, right. Why do you think they put new? What the hell was the old? No, seriously. Right. Come on. The whipping of Kuta Kente to, to change his name to Toby. Mm. You gotta go back and watch that movie and study it. That name, when you call by your name, it calls you back in line to your duty. Are they talking about the God power that is present in black people? The scripture says you're all gods, children of the most high God. Why do rappers take on the name of people who, who imitate them? Mm -hmm. So they said on the cover of Time magazine, God is dead. Why? Because we stop giving it up. We stop going to the spirit realm and bring it down and put it in the physical plane. So they had to ask the question on the cover of Newsweek, art or obscenity? We've always looked at the naked woman in ancient Kemet or in interior of Africa. But we didn't rape her and call her names and pinch her booty, did we? No. No. <laughs> did we? No. See, they don't understand the realm in which we, we, we operate, the frequency. This is the frequency right here. This is that frequency, man. This is what you're getting. Mm. BMF. Yes, sir. You're getting smack. And we're imitating these people. And all we're doing is just kind of feeding it back. The dog returns to his own vomit. And some of y'all got these DVDs and I'm going to play it off like you don't. I'm serious, you do. 
Brothers, I'm sure y'all got that one right or wrong. 